Eivor. What a pleasure to see you. Oh dear. It feels like it's been so long. Valka, my friend. You're most welcome here. Are you well? Better than well. I am present. And your mother? My mother has found her peace at last. She walks through a world seen only in dreams and will forevermore. That is all any of us can hope for. Indeed. Come. How was your passage? Accelerating. The waves and the wind were with us from the start. We flew like seabirds. And how are you? In spite of your stoic look, there is a brightness in your eyes that warms me. It may be a kind of hope. A settlement is growing. The people are happy and I am looking forward to more. And your visions? They come and go. But leave all that aside. Let me help you with your things. This way. We found a fine spot for you at the foot of the hill. Hmm. Every hour we traveled, I tried to conjure in my mind some vision of this place. And how close were you? I saw the trees, and the water, and the rolling hill. But I could not foresee so much green. It is a magnificent and calming color. A balm for sea-salted eyes. All these people you have brought here. This life you have built on these stranger shores. Does it please you? It does. To know that I've built this place and kept these people safe is a gift. You speak first of yourself when I ask this question. Which says more than you intend, I think. You see there? Your home is just ahead. Tell me about your visions. They are as they have always been. Little has changed, save their clarity. With every return, the things I see feel less like dreams and more like memories. And does the All Father still appear before you? From time to time, yes. He speaks to me as well, but it feels mad to say such things aloud. I understand. You can put those just there. Thank you. Thank you, Eivor. Anything to help you feel at home? I am most at home helping others. May we return to the subject of your visions? We could, if you think it worth something. I need one more ingredient to finish an elixir for you. Look around the pond there. You will find what I require. Once brewed, this elixir will help you dive deeper into your visions, to see them more clearly. I have the plants you need. Good, good. Once added to the elixir, it will be ready to drink. In taking this, you will have access to the All Father's wisdom. You will walk the path of Odin and live as he lived so long ago. Prepare yourself for a journey into another time, another plane. The elixir is ready. It will taste like misery itself, but it will open your mind to the sights and sounds of the Nine Worlds.
The prophecies of the Nornir are as clear as daylight. The Aesir are doomed. All Asgard is doomed. Repeat the last passage. Brothers will fight one another and kill one another. The home of the gods turns red with gore. It will be an age of storms. An age of wolves. Not this. Further along. The foretelling of a wolf, a great beast. The wolf Fenrir howls terribly before the gates to hell. The beast will break its bonds and run. And my part? What about me? Then comes the second great sorrow. When the Harvey goes to fight the wolf, and falls to Fenrir. And falls to Fenrir. It's there, you see. You have foretold my death. Your Harvey will die. We speak what we see. We know your fate. Your destiny. Have you gleaned enough, O oh wise one? Why struggle and fight if we are but threats stretched between anchored points? Without hope, life is a prison, not a gift. Life is the music that comes from playing those threads. That is what lifts our spirits and fills our hearts. I am no string to be plucked or tied. I am the High One, the Lord of Ecstasy, the enemy of the Wolf. I am eternal. Riddled words only cloud my thoughts. A storm is brewing. Not in the clouds, but down below. Does our final battle draw near? Is this how Ragnarok begins? to deal with these invaders, Thor. You cannot... Who is balls? We are as guardians. We don't skulk around like elves. We fight! We are fighting. For our homes, for our people. But some problems can't be solved with the hard end of a hammer. Name one. Harvey, break our stalemate. What is this? Another invasion? Warriors from Jotunheim. They attack from all fronts. While we sit on our trembling hands and scratch our bums. Not so, Thor. Many Aesir have been sent to the four corners of Asgard, leaving we four to defend the Great Hall. Havi, lend me a score of your warriors and I will lead them into Jotunheim myself. We cannot afford such a loss. The Ain Hariar must hold back to defend our city. I would bring them here, to hold the Great Hall itself. This invasion is too large to spread ourselves around. All this prattle solves nothing. Battle or death! Silence! All of you. We will take the fight to the enemy, before they cross the Bifrost. Well said, Ravenfeeder. Name those who may fight beside you. I need only one. You, Freya, Queen of Asgard, will you fight at my side? I'm with you, Havi. Let the Bifrost shimmer with the blood of their dead. The rest of you, stay back to protect the Great Hall. Were any creatures among the Jotnar? Drago, trolls, or wolves? What troubles you, Havi? Does your far side tell you something? More invaders! They gather at the Bifrost Bridge! Where's Loki? 
He should be guarding that door. Warn the others. The fight begins. Come, Harvey. Tonight we drink and swive, but now's the hour we prove our might. If they breach the gate to Jotunheim, someone must close it! Mjolnir! It is time to crush! With me, I give this battle to myself. My steel will shred their illusions! Blood for Asgard! Say hello to Jormungandr! Kill the the flow of invaders. What's that? You done us so famous, he said your Wait, no. You're mistaken. I am no Jotun. I was only passing through from one land to another. Would your song be this? Uh, Harvey. I found this one lurking in the shade, shying from battle. Shall I extract some teeth to get him talking? Or pluck out an eye? You were told to guard this portal, Loki. What happened? The portal opened, and these soldiers came bleeding through. So I sent warning straight away. And I captured this one, the soggy child sheep herder. <coughs> 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 
What is your name, stranger? I am called the Builder by most. He wants your name, not your trade. If I have another name, it's not within my memory. Builder it's been for as long as I've been building things. Why have you come to Asgard? To bow my bruised ego, I'll admit. The Jotnar did not appreciate my skills and crafts. And you thought we, in Asgard, might? Was it wrong to believe you and your kin possess a wisdom beyond measure and could recognize such a rare opportunity? Navi, when someone gifts you a horse, you ride it. I put a bridle on this one. Is that right, Builder? Are you a gift horse? Or a secret curse? Neither, Hywan. I am only a tool. One with hopes to be well used. This portal has been a source of misery for some time. I want it sealed. With respect, this is not the only way the Jotnar can enter Asgard. May I propose a more encompassing solution? And what do you want in exchange for the shield, other than your freedom? I must give that a thought, a very deep thought. It would not be a simple task, and I do have my reputation to consider. If you doubt me, I could offer a demonstration. A demonstration, yes. And if he fails to impress, we hoist his skin as a sail. I'll accept these terms, with the last condition. I would need water from your well of Urthur. What do you know of our sacred well? It's a place of great power and vital magic, a source of spirit. It's the water there that will power your shield. I'll collect the water, Harvey. Keep this one clear of our sacred sites. Loki, halt! I will go to the well. You must find this builder clearing for his display. No, no. It's no trouble, Harvey. The damp and the dark appeal to me. Go with the builder, then return to the Great Hall with news of our next step. As you command. An interesting offer. A curious coincidence. Last one. No prophecy shall bind me. <sighs> the Will of Word. Not even I know all your secrets. The sunstone has been moved. The light's pass is shifted. These caves run deep. Nidark and his serpents have been busy. Harvey, Loki said you'd be here. He 
told me of the Builder's requests, an offer that gives me great worry. Why was this passage blocked? Has someone been here recently? Do you hear me, Javi? This Builder is a stranger to us. We know not what he intends. I am the King of Asgard, Tyr. Do not question my desire to protect her. Calm, old friend. What's needling you? The Nornir told me I would die at Ragnarok. They described the scene of my passing. All but a few will perish in the final battle. We know this. Yet we will die well. And live again in great and glorious tales. I will need your strength in the coming days. To anchor me. To challenge me. To pull me back from the abyss should I teeter. And I will. As long as breath fills me. So I must caution you. Step with care in this place. What happens here may ripple through the fabric of the Nine Worlds. The well is sealed. Someone labors to keep me out. Perhaps it is meant as a warning. I will take it as a challenge. I recall there being more light in here. These sunstones are meant to guide the light, but the path has been diverted. Once or twice. I doubt the Nornir will appreciate our visit. The curious are not welcome here. We will have come and gone before they feel our presence. is open to us. I will lead. <laughs> Take what you need and do it quickly. We should not linger. Here. I'll suffer no wolves in Asgard. This is a sacred place. Killing here is forbidden. You know this, Javi. Has your mind fled you? You act as though possessed by the spirit of another. My mind is my own, Tyr. But you pose a curious thought. Could one mind usurp another's? The hooger of one in the body of someone else. Are you drunk on these waters? Take your flask, forget the wolf, and let us be gone, before the Nornir weave us a pair of shackles. Take this beast. I want it caged. I would have every wolf and dog in Asgard caged if I could. 
To ease your troubled minds, I will do as you ask. We need you focused for the coming war. Thank you, Courage Bringer, for your steady hand. When one descends this deep, there's no going back up. Then the only way is further down. Okay. 